camera check over and over. Are you out there? Why are we here? I Why don't are understand. We doing this? What are you doing? Oh, we could put a three foot, we could put a three foot manatee right here and still have lots of room for the toilet. Are you serious? A three foot vanity and a toilet? It How could, lucky are we? It could fit that way. Are you sure? But we could do a two and a half and not be super crowded, but a three foot. Wow, I like this. You mean you could sit on the toilet and put your makeup on? No, you would sit on the toilet and look at me taking a shower. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh I like it. The temporary marks? The temporary marks, yeah. Just Never easier to move a sink than to pull up the tape. Oh, that's right. Well, hello, we've already done that once, so. This is I, round two. This is round two, and at least we can live with it, walk through it see how it feels, see how the flow is, determine where we want to put the windows. It's exciting! Are you excited? I'm excited! <laughs> I'm really excited, so thank you, honey, for helping me do this. My pleasure. Give us the rundown on what you did this morning here. Well, um, we came over and we taped out the floor, a potential floor plan, just so we can kind of live with it and walk around and see how it's going to and all of that so I want to keep as much of an open floor plan as we can so it doesn't fill all closed in so we basically have the stove here a 24 inch cabinet and then a big sink here Randy needs his big sink and then a small cabinet there um, potentially I'd like to put a window in possibly right here and then we'll have a bank of uppers going here and that door goes away, so that yes, people are going to ask about that door, but it gets taken out. The door is gone. And then on this side, we have got the refrigerator with the pantry, with a pull-out pantry right here, and then this nice big countertop for workspace. So this is like a 36-inch um, cabinet, possibly, and then I want a window right there. So if we're working here, prepping food and stuff like that, we have a window that we can look out and see nature that is all around us. And then what? We, what? Yeah, nature. And then <laughs> back here is the bathroom. So we're going to do a pocket door transitioning into the bathroom. And we have a bathtub over here. It's a full, it's a 60 it's, inch bathtub. Yeah. For when we are not boondocking, we can splurge and treat ourselves to a hot soaky bath. And we're going to try doing something a little bit non-traditional and have the potty going this away with a vanity right here. So we're gonna wait and see how that kind of works out when we get the equipment in here. And we'll go from there and then there will be a door back into the bedroom slash yoga meditation area. And there's a Murphy bed right here that folds down to this length that's going to hinge up and be there opening this up to a big space back here for us to do whatever we want back here. So I'm really excited. It's great to have it taped out just so we can kind of get a feel for it. So from the back of the bus, there's a wall that goes up here and the water tank is potentially going to go over the motor there. So it's inside, and then go ahead, go up through. So the end of the Murphy bed will stop right here when it is folded down. There'll be a pocket door here, transitioning into the bathroom, and we're utilizing the whole space um, with the bathtub, the vanity, the potty. And the hallway becomes the standing spray. I think that's great. Yeah, and it's, you know, a changing area. There's just, there's a lot of room in here. I love this. And we can keep both pocket doors open if we want to see clear back into the back of the bus. And then we'll transition right into the kitchen. And again, we've got a pantry, a fridge, cabinet on this side, a little cabinet right here with the stove, countertop space cabinet here. 
big sink, and a little countertop right down here. And then we will transition into the living space. So we've got a, a really big living space, I feel like, until we start building stuff in. So the floor plan that I just laid out for you is something that we're playing around with right now. Um, it might potentially get changed along the way, but at least it gives us an idea and we can walk through and see how it feels if we can comfortably live this way.